Hi there, this is Fixed It. I recently picked up a broken Emotive Insight EG headset on eBay and I wanted to see whether or not it actually would switch on, but unfortunately it didn't come with a power cable. So I went to the Emotive site, they have the Emotive Insight charging cable, it's $19.99 and shipping was $32.99, a total of $52.98. So I thought I'm going to make one of my own. From the shop image we can see that it's a USB male going into a 4 pin 3.5 millimeter audio plug. So I purchased a 4 pin audio plug and I found one of my own USB to mini USB cables. One thing to note is that the solder connections on the 4 pin audio plug are exceedingly small and if you're not a competent solderer you might not want to do this. The first thing to do is to cut the USB cable in half and you'll be using the large USB male. Now strip back the wires and you'll notice that there's a green, white, red and black. The red is the VCC, the white is the USB data negative, the green is the USB data positive and the black is the USB ground. The wiring for the 4 pin audio cable isn't straightforward. The green wire needs to go on the first point, the white wire on the second, the red wire on the third and the black cable needs to be soldered to the shield. Having built my cable I then went to plug it into the Motive Insight only to discover uh, there isn't enough room for the plug body to allow insertion into the Emotive Insight. The difficulty I had was one of perspective with regards to their picture um, which shows a very slim 4 pin audio plug. So in part 2 I'll be looking at solving this problem. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.